Hey everyone, this is Louis 7 Today I have a special video that was originally going to be for 10,000 subscribers, but I kind of forgot about it. And what I'm going to be doing is reviewing my oldest screenshot folder that I have saved and backed up for the Lord of the Rings Online specifically. So unfortunately, some of my very earliest days of Lotro, the screenshots I took back then are kind of lost because I tended to play on laptops back in the day where I didn't really have much of a backup for screenshots or anything like that. So they're kind of just lost, but we can see what I actually have. And uh, yes, this is my very first screenshot, but that's not a real screenshot. Uh, shout out to anybody that remembers that absolutely awful thumbnail. But moving on, my first screenshot is of Epic Conclusion. I remember at this point I was kind of obsessed with taking action screenshots, especially on the Runekeeper, like of Epic Conclusion, and also taking screenshots of big crits. Those were like the things that I enjoyed taking screenshots of, just interesting uh, abilities and capturing that or big crits, and Epic Conclusion works very great for both of those. Uh, so that's probably going to be a lot of these. Actually, see, this is my Runekeeper and Aragian, so this screenshot is quite old. Let's see uh, properties here. It is going to be 2015, uh, modified 2012. So this is about 10 years old. Oh my, almost perfectly 10 years old. It's like 9 years and 11 months old, but wow. So yeah, that gives maybe a little bit of context for how old these screenshots are. Uh, I do have on the right my folder here, just so I can have a little preview maybe of what's coming up. Oh, I actually did take a landscape screenshot. I don't remember doing that too much back in the day, but yeah, this is the nice Eregion. I have no idea what settings I was playing on, but I think perhaps a little bit clearly, either the graphics have been improved over time in Lotra, which is true, or my settings were lower than I play on nowadays, but I think probably a mixture of both of those. These are kind of neat though. Uh, no idea what the screenshot's about, but okay. Hey, I took a whole bunch there. Um, moving on. Okay, so this is the next screenshot I have, and it's kind of interesting. We go from my level 49 Runekeeper up to my 75 Warden, so it is true. I ended up leveling my Warden all the way to the level cap before I even did Moria on my Runekeeper. And I remember trying, I think at least I went into Moria and was just so uninterested in it that I started to level my Warden instead. Yeah, here we are. Also, this is a time when I actually used a user interface skin. Definitely don't like that one nowadays. It looks kind of... it's just not something I would like. It kind of looks Moria themed though, oddly enough. But anyway, this is a screenshot and a skirmish. Wow, I feel like this is more going to be story time and less actually looking at the content of the screenshots, but... Yeah, I remember the Gwe lag was kind of interesting. He still is interesting because he gets an incoming damage buff and you could get really giant crits and hits on him. So a bunch there. Oh, this is going to be Riders of Rohan. Wow. So uh, this level 75 screenshot was during Rise of Isengard, but it looks like this is during Riders of Rohan because I'm leveling up. I don't know. It is possible this is a beta. There is the golf emote. I have no idea how I got that, but I have it on a character. I also thought this. I remember these screenshots they were just really neat at the time the writer there the whatever that thing is fell beast and nazgul ah yes this is this is potentially the beta for riders of rohan for some reason i'm thinking this one on the runekeeper is the beta but it might not be but yeah once again going back to the epic conclusion crits also my runekeeper's outfit changed that's the heavy outfit that i still actually kind of like the officers from moria crafted set as the cosmetic for that so here's my hunt or my room keeper again cinder warbands yeah i'm leveling my room keeper so that's probably wait no here's my room keeper at 49 oh that's so weird why maybe that was during beta and i boosted my room keeper to play it at high level i am guessing that's what happened i just decided to level my room keeper at that point i suppose Okay, so here we are, yeah, once again at the level cap at 75, and this is, ah, uh, yeah, the Fangorn's Edge. It's so interesting looking back at these Isengard instances, because this is the first time I got to the level cap in the game. There's a lot of it that I don't quite remember at this point. Again, this is going on 10 years back, but some of the details with that I don't remember in some of the instances, because I was still fairly new to the game and very new to the Warden. Boy, the Warden 
just in general looks a lot different nowadays, but... And yeah, moving on from these, it looks like back to Runekeeper. This is way back when I was more of an altaholic, I think even more so than I am nowadays, and I just bounce between characters a lot. Do some things on one character. Do oh, what are some random channel banners? That's kind of odd. Why would that be screenshot? Did I modify the screenshot and just save over it instead of... That was a neat screenshot, though, I think, with the river, but yeah. Ah, Runekeeper and Moria. Those were... Those were dangerous days. I thought I took a bunch of screenshots of my desk. I also used to like taking screenshots of uh, leveling up. Whenever my characters would level up, I try to take screenshots of them. So that's probably going to be a theme we'll see throughout this video. I'm actually surprised I took a screenshot like that back then, but there we go. Oh yeah, here's one. Those was moments before death, probably. Running away from all those goblins and the bigger orc in the back. That's pretty neat. Hey, I'm alive in the next one, so maybe I didn't die. Uh, but there we go. Yeah, defeating some of them. Oh, there's a death. Falling in Moria. Holy. That was falling in Moria and dying by a whole army of goblins. That was my Runekeeper's experience in Moria, basically. Uh, so it looks like after that, this is an old burglar. Yeah, Burglar was one of my least played classes. Maybe played Minstrel even less at that point. But, yeah, Burglar was less played. I don't know why I took all these screenshots. I got two 203 crits in a row, though, for these screenshots. That's kind of neat. Um, yeah, leveling up. Leveling up 23, 24. And then North Downs? That looks like almost Oathricar area. That's kind of neat screenshot. Just neat area. Hey, 25? Yeah, 23, 24, 25. It looks like I got the screenshot just after the White Tree appeared. I was going hard on my burglar for a while. And then we have randomly have the Runekeeper and Mori again. And then we go to Champion. Uh, this might have been the time when I started to do a bunch of random skirmishes. And I actually was doing, sort of, doing YouTube content. And this was before I did commentaries or anything like that. So I would just try to record, find interesting gameplay. And that often, for me at least, was skirmishes, just recording them doing either random skirmishes on a character or class, or at one point, I think I was going to try to go through every single skirmish on every single class. But I don't know, I had fun doing that back in the day at least, and that was something I could do. Hey, here's my Hunter level, wow, level 33, 34. Hunter's always been an interesting class for me since I leveled I think it was my third highest naturally leveled character for a long while. Even though it's not typically a class like quite tens hordes, it's usually the hunter style class is going to be like a middle of the pack type class for me. But yeah, it ended up being my third most played in Lotro for a while. Here's Warden skirmishes. Always fun to do skirmishes on the Warden at that point, and uh, that's back when morale taps were, say, a little bit stronger, but and they had um, put buffs on you and all that such had for buff icons at least I think for the healing if I remember correctly. Cargo Forge Master, all right. Ah, Smoldering Wrath. That still has a neat animation. The conclusion. Oh, this is back in the day before trait trees. I I think I have sort of subconsciously thought of that at this point, but this is before Trait Tree, so you had fire and lightning and even more frost skills back in the day. And all those healing skills right there. Uh, while I I am overall, I think, a fan of Trait Trees, it is kind of sad seeing all these skills and just how much specialization limits the other abilities. Let's see, going back to Warden, this is an Isengard. Ah, uh, Runekeeper. Runekeeper's progressing in Moria there, though. Alright, some Evendim. Yeah, I did like Evendim, even way back in the day. Nice, like, to take a screenshot. I think I took a screenshot there because the goblin was floating. That happens a lot. Bill Tripper. Oh yeah, this is Evendim. Okay. Leveling my hunter. Like taking screenshots of WD... WB games, Warner Brother games. Uh, Runekeeper, what, Warden going through skirmish, Runekeeper going through skirmish. If you see this duo partner here, that is actually the same person, Valandon and Ola did. Same person there. Uh, moving on, Runekeeper still leveling. You can see how much I like Mori all these skirmishes I'm doing. Oh, I'm actually here in Lothorian, I believe. This is not a skirmish, but it is Lothorian that I got to level 56 in Lothorian. That is crazy. 
I dislike Moria that much. Hey, a death in Moria, though. One reason I disliked it. Well, bringing arrows up to the camp in the north there in Dimrill Dale. Maybe some landscape screenshots. Those are nice to see. Really like Lothorian. I actually do remember taking a bunch of screenshots here. Oh, there's uh, one of those hawks. A big crit. I don't know why, but that looks like almost like a torn. It looks like a bull cow. Almost looks like a torn from WoW, though. That's what I initially thought with that. Uh, this is the Fan Weedle in Walthorian. Ain't hey, my wardens in Moria? Why? I actually have no idea why, but that was uh, probably took that for the Devastate that I got there. Oh, Runekeeper running from a troll. Oh, this is Turtle. Okay, so I think the Turtle was the first raid that I ever ran in Lotro, but um, I at least don't have screenshots of running it before this. I'm thinking this might have been my first time in it. And then I came back yeah this is a different group i came back with my warden at some point but this is my room keeper who was actually on level for that turtle for people that don't know is uh moria single boss raid just norduin called turtle because he's a giant turtle uh back in lothorian for the room keeper and he got level 60 so siege of mirkwood did i go to mirkwood was that oh actually i'm already working on mirkwood it looks like i'm doing red quests at that point Oh no, that's Inundwaith? Wait, what? Yeah, Inundwaith. So that... Maybe I did both Mirkwood and Inundwaith. I don't know. But here is Inundwaith. Completed Mysteries of Inundwaith. Level to 61. Oh, and here is the second raid I've ever run in Lotro. This is Dragok. We are fighting his front left claw there. Oh, that's actually a neat view of him. Wow, so many people that, even some of these people though, I still play with today. But there are so many people that I kind of forget about from that kinship that I was in. But yeah, Friday, people might know him as Jimmy Thornshield, uh, the leader of the kinship, the Mithril League. But a few of these people did transition to Anor. I think also a few of them have stopped playing at this point. But yeah, it's kind of neat to have all those people back on for a bit and running group content with them but yeah there's Dragok. unfortunately i did not get a screenshot of actually defeating him so we'll never know if we actually won if i remember correctly we did win also i should at this point give a huge shout out to he's playing friday right here but uh to jimmy he actually on his warden spook fast is the one that taught me to play the warden a lot better i think i probably would not like the class as much as i do nowadays if he did not help me so much with it so shout out to him for that but it looks like after the exciting raid we're back to leveling the rune keeper getting him up oh there actually is a bull maybe that's what the screenshot was of earlier neat Sharky curse you. Yeah, I remember those guys saying that all the time. Boy, this video is... I need to speed up or we're going to be here for hours. <laughs> That's pretty interesting. Yeah, I have so many screenshots here. We can go rapid fire, but I feel like there's a story to every screenshot. Is that the old icon for vivid imagery? Speaking of story... But there really is like a story behind every screenshot that I just get a little bit of nostalgia and... I just find it interesting to see and hope you all also do. This is a dive leg white. Dive leg? I really don't remember that name for that white, but here is the Runekeeper heading into Isengard content. Uh, no idea where that is. That's gotta be... I don't know. I'm, I was thinking that would be... What's the place? Inadwaith. Southern part of Inadwaith, but I don't know for sure. Could be bone veils, like a view from the bone veils, but hmm. Oh boy, I used to take tons of screenshots, and it's not that I don't take screenshots nowadays, but I usually don't take just random screenshots. I used to take a whole bunch of random screenshots, and nowadays my screenshots are more so basically for thumbnails, because anything I really want to um, 
I don't know why it's not letting me go any further, so we'll go down to 210, see if there's anything interesting, but... Yeah, a lot of my, say, capturing memories or the such is in video form nowadays is basically the reality, so here's 210. All right, so continuing on with the Runekeeper, we're basically following the story of his progression through Isengard, just leveling up towards the cap at that point. And here, oh, Warden running the Foundry six-man instance. I barely even remember running that. Didn't take many screenshots of it, I don't suppose. Uh, Runekeeper still going through Galtrav. That almost looked like my Hunter, but my Hunter and Runekeeper decided to share outfits for the longest while, so it's kind of hard to tell. Yeah, Runekeeper progressing fast. Oh, here we go. Back to group content. This is Roots of Fangorn. I loved Limlight Gorge. That is one thing I definitely remember about the 75 cap is I loved Limlight Gorge. And here we are running that instance. This is Girthel, that spider. Let's see, we had, can't even see the names of these people, but hey, there's Friday again. Uh, Emerus, I remember. Ardenweed, do I remember that name? I don't remember if I remember that name, but it sounds familiar. Uh, the Hunter, I don't know who that is. It could be Valinon. Don't know who the Guardian is. Uh, actually, the Hunter, I think, would be Emerus. Don't know who the Runekeeper is, but yeah. Oh, there's more names. Actually, yeah, looking back at this, just to clarify, I think I did get... Wait, we had... Oh, this is a different group. That would explain it. So Emerus is the Hunter, and... Uh, then we had another hunter here, so we had two hunters. I don't know if this is the same same time or same run with different people or not. But anyway, we can get back to the Runekeeper. It looks like he's up next. He was going... Ooh, session play. Uh, he was going through Rise of Isengard content, clearly, and for some reason... Oh, I thought that was a skirmish because it was Tell Methodros, but it is not the Storm on Methodros skirmish. Lothlorien? I don't know. Uh, here we are running stuff, Limelight Gorge stuff, it looks like. I actually did run some of the landscape quests, I suppose. Or no, that's Limelight Glade. That would be Roots of Pangorn. Hey, Runekeeper got level 75, so what to do besides take screenshots of me hitting a target dummy with epic conclusion? Oh, wow, an 8k Devastate? Probably get that at level 50 nowadays. Maybe. I actually don't know. But probably. Where are we going through? Skirmish. Oh yeah, so next character up is going to be Guardian, it looks like. You all might know Tuggero and Esvelsen as Dan's Adventures. He's joined me quite a bit for duos on the channel even recently. Minstrel? I think my Minstrel did pass my Burglar here. So I guess after the Runekeeper, I started venturing out into other characters, even doing skirmishes at the level cap. That's odd. Uh, here we go with Minstrel again. This was before Minstrel was really beefy in terms of their damage. Like they had... Um, well, I guess I... Well, this was before the Trade Tree, so I'm actually not even 100% sure what all was going on with them, but... Yeah, as far as I remember, this was before their damage was as beefy as it was is nowadays, which really helps with the minstrel. Ah, the Boogan camp. I love this cave. I'm going through it. Helping somebody through Nan Lathrin, it looks like. Oh, that's a Riders of Rohan thing. But this is... Wait, that's Riders of Rohan. Oh, this is probably... Before, it's like a promotional thing before the Rohan expansion came out, back when you know, doing promotional stuff was a thing for the game. Oh, here's my lore master. One of, uh, I would almost say one of my more played classes nowadays. He was played even less than the burglar. Wow. Man, lore master was tough. That's actually the very first class I played with Lotro, and it is the reason I decided I did not like Lotro from the very start. And basically is a big reason why I don't have the lifetime subscription. I did not get that because I didn't like the game because I started with a lore master. Captain, even lower level. Captain was always a tough one. Wait, what's that one ability? I don't think they have that nowadays, do they? Hmm. 
I don't recognize the icon at least. It could just be same icon for or different icon for an ability they do have now. But anyway, yeah, Captain was always a bit rough because it was such a group oriented class. I think even more so than it is nowadays. It was just a slow one to level. Especially solo. Here's a nice big great goblins then pull because for some reason I decided to run that. No idea why. Runekeeper? <laughs> so I have random Oh, these screenshots are so random. We really are going to be here an hour, but hey, I guess that's part of the fun. Denorian. Oh, this is going to be, yeah, the Great River. I actually did go through those quests. That is crazy. I just, I remember back in the day, hate, I hated questing at the level cap. Like, to me, the whole point of questing in a game was to get XP to level up not to have fun questing and going through story content or whatever, which is, of course, a big focus for Lotro. So um, I'm kind of surprised at that point I actually did any level cap quests. Hey, 99 gold, 100 gold. I wonder if that's what that was about. I really don't remember my gold situation back in the day, but uh, I'm, I'm thinking that's what those screenshots are about, it being a big deal, me getting 100 gold at the time. Hey, I'm halfway through the floor. Who is that? That wait, Delowin. Is this even my character? Ah, uh, I actually for some reason I remember this character's name, but I thought it was somebody else. Could they have played their account on my computer? I I don't know. That's kind of neat though. See, they're leveling with some Samuel, who I <laughs> don't recognize that name at all, to be honest. Alright, well again, skirmish mark, string table error table DID. Oops. Uh, Lego, that's going to be my captain, and I'm in a group with are they running us through something? No, Eastern Oh, this was a uh this might have been a jumping challenge type thing in this area. I really don't remember. Or a hide hide tag? I see a run speed. Buff. Could it have been tag or something like that? I don't know. There are some like game like that that you played over here. I don't know why I took so many screenshots of that. Hey, my runekeeper is now running group content, and my warden's running away doing big AOE pull. I, I guess just soloing stuff on the warden. Yeah, it looks like Fornost here. Oh, this is the the very fun Boston Fornost. It looks like I did end up living through it. I actually kind of remember this. That was intense. Ah, uh, Brogadan. I wonder if I was able to get him down. Because was this at a point where you needed a certain weapon, a certain damage type for your weapon to actually hit him? Hey, Runekeeper soloed Wraith of Water. I assume a low level version. Probably 35. Nice vivid imagery. Oh, this is the Gwaylai. Got a 10k crit. I'm guessing that was my biggest at the time. Uh, we're back to Champion. This is the first screenshot of Champion, and he's like suddenly level 36. Yeah, Champion was also one of my relatively more played classes back in the day, but it's like a class, if I remember correctly, I always really, really wanted to enjoy it, but I would get annoyed at the animation speeds and the animation delay. I think both of those, but especially the animation delay was super annoying. But speaking of champion, I will actually have a video on the champion class soon, so stay tuned for that. But moving on, we have Hunter, who is one level higher than the champion here. Uh, both in Evendom doing kind of similar quests. That's a neat screenshot. I guess I changed outfits. Changed outfits twice in a row there, wow. And I leveled up and leveled up. Oh, yeah, I did so many skirmishes. Wait, we're in Angmore? I believe I just have somebody running me through quests, another hunter. Well, it looks like I've gone through too many images. We have to uh, refresh again. I really wasn't planning on going, like, analyzing every single image in the screenshot folder since it's like, um, I think it's a bit over a thousand screenshots. So at this point, we're going to be over here, here, um, like well over an hour if I don't speed up. Okay, so running for no speaking of speed up. Uh, back to Guardian leveling. This is uh, less so than like the just looking at my oldest screenshots. This is almost the story of my Lotro experience that I actually have pictured. 
Uh, um, yeah, skirmishes. I was about to say missions, but I ran skirmishes a lot. Oh, sitting in the chair. I actually I remember that being like very neat and fancy to me. Oh, this is Riders of Rohan, isn't it? Level 76 on the Runekeeper. Where's the War Dead leveling up? Oh, well. Oh, leveling a new Runekeeper. Like in with two ends, really? Okay. Uh, I wonder if I did that for some sort of like video because well, I remember doing it for champion. I was going to level every single race slash class combination for just do the intro on each combination and upload it as a video. OK, so here's mounted combat on the runekeeper. I remember. Oh, I guess I fell through the floor. Got tons of screenshots of that. Here's the yeah, here's the champion. I remember uploading to YouTube. I might have done it with the runekeeper, too, but yeah, back to skirmishes. But what I remember is actually going through Rohan. I think I did that first on the Runekeeper and, you know, Mount Combat and all that. If he stopped leveling through, I decided to level through skirmishes, it looks like. Here we have a... I don't recognize those names at all, but we have a group for something here. I have no idea what. Yeah, this is Lore Master, the level 21. Is that fire lore or is it something else? I have no idea. Couple icons I don't quite recognize there. Back to skirmishes and leveling runekeeper. Hey, he did a warband. I do remember having decent bit of fun with the warbands though. Uh, hey, I actually made a video on this for my runekeeper getting level 85. But yeah, this is how I got level 85. I was dead. Oh, level two. Warden? Why did I make a new warden? Better question is why not? Uh, I don't know what that was about. There's a rare mob. Or is that a rare mob or is that just what the skin makes the signature look like? Well, there's my UI was so cluttered back in the day. That's probably something you'll have noticed at this point. Okay, I do remember we... Oh, was this a co-op I did with him? I might have actually recorded these characters for a video, but I I don't 100% remember. But I was leveling a warden, it looks like, with a captain. Warmaster, Runekeeper. Uh, here we are doing... Yeah, attacking training to me. Here, I can't even get that 10k crit. I got a level 75. Oh, this! I really remember this. Yeah, so my Runekeeper got to 85 before I even got my word in one level. Oh, sad times. But yeah, I remember this was so fun doing the the forges of Isengard, whatever that like repeatable thing was that you could do from Galtrav, and doing the whole thing in one pull. I made a video on that as well. Ooh, that was scary. It doesn't look like it with the screenshots, but I remember my health dipping quite low. Yeah. Warden doing library for some random reason. <laughs> We're doing solo stuff again. I guess that energized me so much doing that. That energized me so much to do more solo stuff on the Warden, it looks like. Skirmish. Oh, somebody's dead. How embarrassing. We don't want screenshots of that. Gulfpin. Am I soloing this? Am I soloing a low level version? Like a level 20 version? I wonder why. This is, uh, I forget what instance that is. Um, Scuttle Dells? Yeah, webs of the Scuttle Dells. Hmm. Why is it level one? What? I don't remember that at all, but why are they level one? Is that the point of the screenshot? That is so weird. Like, it's clear the quests are blue, so they're probably like level 30. I would guess 33 is kind of the middle of the group, but why is it level one? Oh, somebody's link lost. Ah, taking my hunter through our region. This I remember because I had a little mini series of this on YouTube. It was gameplay without commentary because that's what I did back in the day. But yeah, I actually remember doing that on the Hunter. Oh, we got through another 200 screenshots, so we're making progress. That means we need to find y'all can see. Oh, yeah, I got this screenshot again, which means we're probably coming up on. 
you have my warden going through this. So there's the warden going through, Radius of Rohan, some random skirmish on Ringkeeper, skirmish on Hunter, Burglar, Warden, Guardian. Oh, we're getting all the classes here. Back to my Hunter leveling in a rigging. I thought this was really neat, and I still do think this is neat when it happens when you keep your weapons out while you're on the mount. And also the glowing weapon, those are kind of rare in Lotro, but that was actually a green glowing weapon. I love that so much. And I don't remember that weapon, how to get it, where it is, if it's still in the game. Oh, screenshots. Sword of Aragian. Hey, there it is. Sword of Aragian. A useful screenshot. I'm going to have to remember that. Oh, doing lightning strike. That's actually really neat how the lightning goes down to his hand. Seems a little dangerous, but still neat. Wait, Runekeeper is level 85 yet he has a he can gain xp this might be the beta i remember taking tons of screenshots of this this particular skill it didn't even get a screenshot of it i took so many screenshots and it missed the skill combustion this is when they did the trait trees and combustion was a new ability for the rune keepers and it was at that time a very bombastic skill which i guess it still is because you drop like a huge meteor on your enemies and yeah, here's some more of those bulls. So I remember taking tons of screenshots of that. Uh, invisible enemy? Hiding? Wait, they have an almost... Yeah, they're uh, still. That's actually, like, I can't even see them. They... Oh, there's a little bit of an outline. That's some... Um, strong stealth. Map, quests. I didn't even pay attention, that's my champion, okay. Yeah, at this point you can really see Champion falling behind. Uh, he was, what, like level 30 something, while my Hunter was way past that level 50. Oh, doing epic battles, these were so bad. I can't believe we actually would have gotten silver with one of these back in the day. Oh, uh, stuck down. Skirmishes, I feel like the story is kind of repeating itself. This is, must have been Isengard Tavern. I think I thought that Lore Master just looked really neat. Potent Hammer of the Deep. Oh wow, my lore master was 85. That must be boosting in the Isengard Tavern. Level 10 runekeeper. Hey Louis, that's that Louis runekeeper. Story is no longer just repeating itself with skirmishes. We now have what was a actually long running gameplay series. It was like a let's play, but without commentary. And I basically sped everything but the combat up. I guess that was my old content. I'm getting screenshots of the character. I think this is what turned into this thumbnail that I brought up earlier. Uh, yeah, that is wow. I actually use this as the thumbnail for my video, and I think, I, well, maybe, maybe the thumbnail, maybe not the thumbnail, but maybe it was just like an intro screen. But this took me so much time to make, and just the styling of it so bad. I don't know if there's a better way to put it besides like bad. A little preview while we're on this thing. Yeah, it looks like we have a lot of Runekeeper stuff coming up. Oh, actually, we're, yeah. No, we're, we're getting there. Uh, yeah, stuck inside somebody, basically. Oh, oh, yeah. Isengard Tavern still does that sometimes. Usually it's blue, though, if it does it nowadays to me. Okay, Runekeeper leveling up. And we made it through another 200. All right, next up we have, yeah, Runekeeper still leveling him. Oh, getting to my Warden, leveling her up towards 85. I wonder if I'll get her all the way to 85. Oh, it's going back to uh, Mirkwood to unlock those skirmishes, it looks like here. Oh, so close to 85. There we go, 85. By killing a um, Warband. Your parcel to Stealth Thalion. Oh, has been accepted. I have no idea who Stealth Alien is. Hmm. Wow, that's a lot of gold. I think that's really a lot. Wait, I received 750 gold coins in the mail from the Postmaster? Did I sell something? Like, was that a COD, I guess? I don't know that that would have been a an auction sell, but that's a lot of gold. Hunter? Runekeeper? 
Wait, why is my Runekeeper level 86? Wasn't he just much higher level? Or was that in like a beta? This is, yeah, Runekeeper overlooking Stangard. Ugh. Oh, he was he was boosted to 95 from the epic battle. That would explain it. Uh, Champion, he's up to 42 at this point. Loremaster's 26. Hunter's 52. Runekeeper's 87. Hunter's 53. I hope I'm not going through too fast for y'all, but with it being so much uh, kind of same yet. Oh, here's me soloing sword halls. That was, I remember that was intense, soloing the first boss of that. I thought that was a crazy achievement, but uh, if you all are familiar with the instance, we know that after the first boss, there's no more soloing of it with the bat, especially at that point. But yeah, I hope I'm not going through too fast here. Uh, basically a lot of similar stuff. Here is uh, Loremaster. Actually, I, I've been like zooming through these, but Loremaster is really leveling it up to 39, 40. Wow, he really kicked it up there. Guardian's up to 38 at that point. That was before I had a lot of fun on Guardian. I had like a little bit of fun, I would say, on the Guardian at that point. Warden's level 85. Runekeeper is 89. Wait, why? Why are there so many upper ones? You can see my champion is progressing here. He's up to 47. Wait, what was that? Oh, Devastate. 3-3-3-3. Three, 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 three. One too many threes, but still nice damage. So really getting my champion up and got him through Walls of Moria, getting my Runekeeper up. Hey, skipping questing because I did not like that. And Rohan getting neat screenshots. I think that, if I remember correctly, I actually used that as like my profile picture. Uh, something, my YouTube, my banner, maybe? It's a whole bunch of these screenshots. Uh, Runekeeper got to level 95 in a skirmish, but not dead. So, one difference from level 85. Those will be my lore master. I'm just, I don't remember my lore master really kicking it in like that on him, but it appears that is what I did. Getting some random screenshots of the character. I think this is when I actually started like getting a neat screenshot of a character and cropping them out either for a thumbnail. I think this was actually thumbnail purposes at the point. But I want to actually crop the character. I would crop a box around the character like that size and then just overlay that over some plain background if I remember correctly. But yeah, a lot of these skirmishes probably ended up being random videos that I did way back when. Well, again. Oh, new character. This is actually, I think this character actually did commentary. Uh, one of the first like leveling series I did where I actually did commentary on that one. So that's kind of neat. Is that a bay warning? Or is that a bear or is that a bay warning? Not entirely sure, actually. Oh, wow, we really jumped up in the levels. Yeah, I took actually a really long break from Lotro at this point. It was kind of like Helm's Deep, but I was leveling characters. And maybe even during Gondor times, I was leveling some characters. But I remember uh, taking a generally long break at the time. And then level 100 was out. And I don't know if this was just West Gondor was out at this point or if even more was out. But it looks like I was getting up to level 100. What are these people in chat? Renlac, I remember that name. Uh, don't 100% remember who Renlac is, but I definitely remember that name. Uh, looks like, uh, hey, that's the point I got bleeder. Well, Renlac made my weapon. Hope I remember them after that. Uh, no idea how my stats were doing. Probably didn't have much good gear. Definitely didn't have Dole Amroth Essence gear, because that was a thing. My Hunter was 58 at this point. Wow. They're getting close to their adventure in Anidway. I don't know if I have screenshots of that, but they're getting close. Oh, <laughs> more skirmishes on the word. And wait, photos untitled. That is the end, I believe. Wow, we made it through all the screenshots. And we did it in less than an hour because I know I really sped through things. Also, here is proof that I ran some of the Gondor Three Mans, just not in a group because a lot of the people I played with at that point kind of stopped playing. This isn't even Gondor, this is specifically Oskilia Three Mans, which is Gondor, but not like West Gondor, Central Gondor. It's uh, Oskilia. And it looks like my Runekeeper, hey, he sunk behind my Warden at that point. So yeah, there were actually a couple of neat things going on here. This Felsen is um, 
level 84 there. I think we were trying to level him up. I don't know if we ever got him to the cap at that point at 100. But yeah, that is the end of the screenshots folder. This has been a very random adventure, but I guess that's the end of it. I hope you all do and <laughs> did enjoy this video of me going through all these old screenshots, over a thousand of them, and even more so maybe just the story of what I did and the story of my progress in Lotro from way back in the day, starting about 10 years ago, we can actually look when the last screenshot was. That would have been about 10 to 7 years ago, so I think that was a 3-ish year range that all these screenshots took place over, so that is... That's actually not even that much time, and it's a ton of screenshots. And I think after this is when I finally got my first desktop, maybe? Maybe not. Maybe this is I changed laptops at that point. I really don't remember. No, this probably would have been my first desktop is when I replaced that because that was this is a summer of 2015. I think that is when I got the desktop. But again, I hope you all enjoy. Oh, this is uh, the screenshot just randomly pointing out why it's so interesting is they are using two weapons at once. They have a sword and a hammer in their hand. That sounds like cheating to me, but whatever. For real though, we'll wrap it up here, and again, this was supposed to be a 10,000 subscribers video, but I totally forgot about it and randomly decided to do it today. So thank you all for helping me get to 10,000 subscribers, and definitely looking forward to the next milestone. And I'm thinking the next major milestone, this is quite far off, I'll might do like an AMA, Q&A type thing, so stay tuned and get subscribed for that way in the future. And if you all did enjoy this video, please consider liking and subscribing for more or becoming a channel member to support the content and this cat that was right here. And thanks for watching, everyone.